groundbreaking, critically acclaimed, smash hits, HBO original series. And now, the premiere of the HBO original series, K Street. You know, I came all the way to our nation's capital for this. You come very highly recommended. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, absolutely. It's been wonderful. Okay. The time. The time has come. <laughs> Can we just hang out here a little longer before we walk in there? We have to rush in there, do we? <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll, uh, uh, it's probably better if I bring it up since since she'll blame you because she'll think I'm yeah. the attic and you delivering uh, the cocaine. Yeah. Well, and, and if you I know, don't, watch I'll be out. Sleep on the couch. Uh, watch, watch out for for Maggie because that greedy bitch will go crazy about losing Shoot. business. To both of me. I'm, uh, I'm gonna stay behind you because I don't want to <laughs> get to. We uh, uh, <laughs> we got a call. We got a call from Dean. Dean. Dean, like Dean. Depression Dean. As in, as in yeah, Governor as in, Dean. Yeah, Governor Dean. Who Dean. wanted us to uh, do uh, debate prep. So? And, uh, and uh, well, he wanted no. How James flattering, but prep. of course you said no. Well, that's well, the thing. We didn't exactly say no. <laughs> what do you mean? This is not Today. a TV remote control. You don't control everything. We have a new firm. We have to outfit it. We have to feed our children. You what can't you make decisions right. like that. Dean, what, 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 Dean is not I mean, just a Democrat. Dean is a Democrat who has interests and positions exactly contrary to clients we have sitting on the fence. Yeah. Tommy comes to me. And I mean, I think, you oh, know. it's Tommy's fault? Well, you I know mean, better, by it. the way. Bipartisan means Look. elected officials on the Hill who can make yeah, a difference the today. House is gonna, I wouldn't uh, be James Carville if I turned a guy down because uh, of the, you thought we could, so might be somebody no, else. I mean, well, not that's such a stretch. You're, you're an, an addict. addict. You you're need an professional listen, help. Listen, look, I this mean, is about I'm Florida. individual. I can this do. is about Florida. It's ridiculous. You know this what? Is you know what it is? It's about uh, business. It's about Florida, isn't it? Over. Should we count again? Should we recount again? There you go. This is about Florida. Let's just agree on our what our story is here. We're sticking to it. James Carville, independent addict, on his own time, having nothing Nothing to do with right. the firm. Would you please hit <laughs> your hill, Hello, folks? Yeah. Okay, but we're going to need some clients shoring up. Okay, look, I got to talk to you. Come here. Who? All right, right. now wait. Uh, if 515 girls, boys. St. Regis. We uh. in the bigs now, so tighten up your jock strap. We got to go. All right. This is so not good. You right, can't possibly. Let me, I got something else I need to talk to you about. Well, we're not done with this conversation. Uh, I, I know, but I just got to ask you about this. You ever hear of a Francisco Dupree or something? Bergstrom calls me. Who? Bergstrom, you know, isn't Bergstrom and Lowe the, <laughs> the guy that owns this? I don't this? think so. Yeah, I think the first time I've ever heard a guy in two years, guy calls me and says, hey, Francisco Dupree is coming to see you tomorrow, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you would listen to what he has to say and give him a job. Which Bergstrom give says, him a job. In other words, if he says, if, if he appreciates that we give him a job, it means He's got the job. I don't know what the job is. I don't know who. So this started. is a must hire, not a you know, well, uh, you know, yeah. interview my daughter thing. Yeah, yes. Paul Begala, please. Tommy Flanagan. I call Paul. Yeah. Call Paul. Yeah. And that's wonderful. Well, but no, I mean, well, I mean I'm glad you got him. No, I mean, that? I called him about the, uh, about the, the prep. 
Oh, okay. That's great. Uh, what is the... He's in. He, I mean, he's uh, in. Okay, good. Thrilled in, to in, do it. Uh, there's nobody better. Uh, yeah. I is just he doing you guys thing pro bono? Uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, broached. But it'll come out of... Uh, out of what? I'll take care of it. I just thought it'd be a good Tommy, idea, you know, Tommy, give him the best. You guys Tommy, are the best together. To let, me, let me explain something to you. We can't... They are going to go ballistic. This distance is oh. you from the firm. This is, a good, this is a good thing. It is a... This is the best idea I've ever had in my life. You yeah. getting me into something. It's, 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 it's better. It takes the heat off you. It takes the heat off you with them. It takes the heat off you with everybody else. All right. And I tell you, I've got a great idea here. Good. Just for one week from the day. Just refrain from having any more good ideas. Just, just, put, them, just put them on, hit the pause. You button. sorry I did that? You sorry I uh, Tom, you? You know minutes? how much I love you, man. You know, you, know, you know how it is, okay? I'm just saying, I'm going to get the shit and I'm going to get the bill. So, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are Thanks you, Maggie? Thanks for squeezing me and I'm all right. I've got to fess up, though. I'm here to fess up. you got to be kidding. Well, I get, I'll just come clean. Carville's prepping Dean this afternoon. Don't tell me that. He's doing sort of casual favor debate prep for about an hour. I told you, I told I you, I told you, don't hook up with that guy. I know, at least you hear Mary. We love <laughs> Mary. Tell Mary not to hook up with we that guy. We love Mary, but... No, it's, uh... It's so your firm's going to be involved We're in not. helping try to elect involved. somebody that's no. going to undo everything we've been trying to do for the last several years. Are you just being mean? I feel bad enough. Listen, it's not, it has nothing to do with the firm. James swears it's a personal, he's like... A trained seal. If you ring the bell, he runs. He's addicted. You can, he can't help himself. We gave up on him a long time. It's ago. what he does instead of fishing. It's he's a. <laughs> <laughs> I just listen. If it comes out, it may never come out. And with a little luck and a lot of prayers, it but won't Carvel, come out. Carvel, everything but, comes out. <laughs> so, are you from Washington? Where are you? Um, no, I've been here for about eight years in mm -hmm. the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. I'm originally from Tokyo. From Tokyo? Mm -hmm. Oh. I love Tokyo. Yeah. The dynamics, what you do. That's a great cut, Mike. Thank you. What do we we, know don't, we don't know. We don't know how far the podiums are away. We don't know how far the questionnaire, questionnaires are away. We don't know how many cameras are. Away. We don't know where his camera is. We don't know. No one knows. Right? No, nobody right. knows. Well, let's just act like we know. Just yeah. for God's sake, don't lead on it. We don't know anything. No. How are you, sir? How are you? Very good. Governor. It's Tom Flanagan. How are you? Very well, thank you. Tom, you? Steve Grossman. Oh, hey, Steve. Steve. How you doing? He does. He says. I'm here, proud to be here in Vermont, in Vermont. I'm proud, I'm pleased. I was coming up here on the plane, I ran into a preacher man I knew, and he said, uh, where are you going, James? And I said, well, I'm going to Vermont. He said, you're going to Vermont? You're going to Vermont? That's where, they, that's where they created that civil unions bill. You know, the civil unions bill in Vermont, you can't go to Vermont. Oh, well, I'm going up to Vermont. Well, James, you know, you've got to be careful up there, because when you get up there, when you get up there, you're going to find out what's going to happen. The leaves are going to turn color, and they're going to fall from the trees because of the Civil Unions Bill. Yeah, and the days are going to get shorter, and they're going to get shorter and shorter because of the Civil Unions Bill. You can't go up to Vermont. You don't know what may happen up there. It's going to start getting cold. That's right. That's right. I used to tell that. It was a great story. Of course, the imitation of a major personality was half of the deal. Which is me. You're, you will be in the center between, uh, between Kerry and Lieberman. <laughs> Governor, three, before we get started, three general points I, I'd like to make. The reason you got to be the front runner is that you were not the front runner. So, in essence, don't become the front runner now that you are the front runner. I got because you. then you won't be anymore. Yeah. Paul, let's go. Hey. We're, just, we're going here to baptism of fire here. What's going on? Good to see you again. How are you? How are you? How are you? Good, good to see you again. I'm good, good, thanks. So far, so good, huh? So far, so good. Got a ways to go. That's a good point. 
point. All right, James, what about heat and passion on television? Uh, I'll let Paul address that. It, it, uh, you can humanize it. And my little point is, be sure that you, you get a, a collar. It's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these guys say. I thought you were going to pull a Rodney Dangerfield out there in the first event. The guy's going to lose circulation. <laughs> have a, have a but, collar man. But also unangry, unangry okay? Because right. this is sort of the thing. You're the angry man, right? That's the one thing I did right in the last debate. Right. You, you, you kept your cool, but save your anger for other people. Okay? They come after you, and they didn't in the last debate. They may in this debate. We don't know. But it never is going to be anger in response to an unfair attack on you and your record. Okay, it's always about something, and it always ought to be vis-a-vis -vis Bush. You can't ignore the question. But if you limit yourself to the four corners of the question, then you have allowed Juan and Farai and Ed to control why you should be president. There's one question in every debate and every campaign. Why should you be the president of the United States of America? That's it. So sorry, I feel really terrible about. That's okay. Stalk. I'm not stalking you. I'm I sorry you, to clothesline you in a restaurant. No, I know. I just felt like it was sort of crucial that I get you. Okay. I'll, I'll take a second. I'll just right. walk with you. But Carville's with um, yeah. Dean right now, doing a little debate prep. Howard Dean. Yeah, and I didn't want you to think that it had anything to do with the firm's business or our intentions this fall or you know any of that. It's he's not. Is he? Is it's he, like a personal favor, and he's not working for the. Absolutely not. And he just, you know, he's a freak. He can't be stopped. Well, that is. So what he does insanity, of, in, in the case of James Carville, insanity is a defense. It is, it is. He has a terrible, terrible addiction. That's what he does instead of fishing. So I, I just didn't want you to think that it had anything to do with where we are headed this fall or, or anything like that. And, and, and Mary is... Well, you can imagine how Mary is. Yeah. <laughs> Not no. in the house or... Uh, it's, it's getting dark. It's, it's getting dark. It's really unbelievable. How do they do it? Well, listen, give I... Me the, give me the insights. No, I can't. Her, I can't. I've asked her a million times. I, believe me, I've, I've asked, asked the same no, thing. It's she a mystery. She doesn't tell me. No, it is a mystery. I will never have the answer. I don't know how it works. But it, just to be clear, it, there is not a client. There's no money exchange. I... And something that some of your opponents have done better than you have is they come with a couple of canned lines, right? They come in, they know what they want to say. Carol Mosley Braun has this wonderful line, you know, she says, Bush became president based on the black vote. Yeah, I know, but I can't use that. You can't steal it. I know. Just be ready for that sort of tone from her. I mean, she's very good. My question to you, since you've got a lot more experience in this than I, can, I, can a pre potential president of the United States get away with that? I think so, if you're, if you're smiling when you do it. It's the one thing you never did in Albuquerque. Smile. If you smile, it's funny. The best way to chip Bush down, this, this commander in chief, and he's got all the trappings of the office, and he spoke last night from, from the cabinet room, is, I think, with humor. And I think that chips him down to size, and it shows yeah. you, not as the angry man, but as kind of the happy warrior. If something pops into your mind in the middle of the debate, say it. Okay, trust your instincts. Mm -hmm. the same token, if, if you know, asshole consultants load you up with cute one-liners, but they don't feel right, don't say it. How can you assure our audience here that uh, your, your candidacy and your presidency will look like America and be sensitive to Americans? First of all, of course, I grew up in New York City and practiced medicine when I was learning medicine in the South Bronx. But here's the, most, here's the biggest difference between me and all the other candidates on here that are white. I'm the only white person I've ever heard talk about race in front of white audiences. I would particularly on something like that, it's one of the few times you've made a personal reference. If you're comfortable telling us more about that, that'd be great. In other words, South Bronx, you probably actually, you know, were looking up to people the rest of folks look down on in New York City as their doctor and trying mm -hmm. to help them. You get the Vermont question. Say, look, if, if the percentage of, 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 of black folks in your state was determined to be a record on civil rights, th th then Trent Lott would be <laughs> Martin Luther King. Let's not trivialize this. We only have a... Never know who might come in and wired and God knows what these people will do. Okay, it, it, it's that's a that's a pit that you just can't get out of. Hey, yeah, it's me. Well, I saw Nichols and I just saw Santorum. Just staked him out. They, yeah, they both seem okay. I mean, they both seem sort of willing to write it off to James's personality. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing, I guess. Uh, Yep, so I'm going to try to get Isaacson, and I'm going to try to get Burr. And I'm wondering if you support reparations Hello? for slavery. Hello? Well, reparations, yeah. if you mean reparations, everybody gets a check. That's not oh, okay. going to work. Right. But there is still an enormous overlay left 
left over from what happened under Jim Crow and segregation and what happened in slavery. So the kind of things that we ought to do. Well, to just tell sure all those people to calm down, and, and you, know, you know what I mean. And that just, that we're, we're doing change. this thing, and, and have to do with supporting historically black colleges like the one we're in right now. We're not going to lose any business. We're not going to lose. Just I, I can handle this, this thing. I'm in the middle of this prep, and we're going to keep the business. And just you know, tell all those people to calm down over there. deliberately designed to appeal. This is right. This is this is right. This is James Carville acting as a as a free citizen of these United States of America. It has nothing to do with Bertram and Lowell. It has nothing to do with Barry Madeline. It has nothing to do with anything. A presidential candidate of my party called and asked me to help, and that's what I'm doing. And we're not going to lose any business over this. Still have not been able to catch up. Right. Yeah. On both of those, you see what I'm trying to do is to push you to pander to the room to the detriment of, of your chances as a national right. candidate in a general right. election. Well, but also you fell into a trap when I said, what if? Okay, one of the ways that Bush is an enormously disciplined politician is he never answers hypotheticals. Mm -hmm. He doesn't entertain that option. Hey, thanks, it was fun. Hi, guys. I will walk out with you, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. It. Yes, sir. Right. It's, it's great seeing you guys. Thank you. Good luck. Have, have fun. Sorry we don't have appreciate another three hours for that. We can actually have some fun. Hey, <laughs> strategy 101 in a primary you know, it's me, I'm this, and they're that, okay? And you always want to be the this that they can't be. Go to the door oh, here. Shit. Really? <laughs> Good to see you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Take care, Governor. Good luck to you. You bet. Barry called during the thing, completely pissed off, thinks I've blown the whole farm. Okay, I am, I am in some kind of trouble at home. And, you know, I mean, I tried to explain that I'm doing this thing, me, James Carville, I do it for any Democratic candidate that calls and asks me, but now I'm getting it from everybody in the firm. I'm going to have Bertram is going to be all over my ass. This thing is going to cost me right out of the wazoo. Well, who leaked it? I don't know. This is Washington. This, you know, who knows who leaked it? I like the stripes. Like these stripes, okay, um, probably not. too overstated, something that uh, would work, excuse me, I'm sorry. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, the debate is on, absolutely. Spill any Chinese food on your Spider-Man costume. There's no buttons. Okay. Why? Once you get this in your blood, you, you can't get it out. And you know, other people don't see it that way. I mean, it's you know, we're expanding this firm, and it's a, just a goddamn thing. Is you know sucks money in and sucks money out. I, I, I still think this something something is going on in New York. I, you know, Bergstrom? It's, yeah, it's something. You don't, you don't smell in Denmark, but it sure in the hell smells in Manhattan somewhere. There's something. I, I can feel the planets moving. Something. I don't know what. Are you all right or something? Huh? Yeah, you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, I'm fine. I was, uh, I know I wasn't uh, exactly firing on all pistons yesterday at the prep, but uh, it's not that easy in the room with you and Paul, you know? Well, get your goddamn helmet on tonight, because we're going to press and people are going to come at us and freaking every, huh? I'll be there. Tighten your chin strap. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm really tired too. I have a really long day. That's cool. No, that's totally fine. Maggie awesome. has a boyfriend. Yeah. Can we want to talk about it? Did you? So you, you worked for Tony Blanche for a while. How'd you like this? Right. You still work with it? Right. My firm does, more than I did. I work with some people who help the staff and a lot of that stuff. 
So we're glad, glad to have you over here. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you very and thank you for your help. Thank you. You know, I don't really think James should be consulting on um, clothes. No disrespect, Mary. <laughs> yes, I remember the Century 21 green jacket he got from Brooks Brothers. And those pants, guys. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I'm and really you want to drink mad. Pigs. I'm very mad. You want to drink bread, please? I got it. I got it. Failure and defeat is not an option. We can win it if we work together. Governor Dean, let me try that question on you specifically. Is there any scenario? that you could give us where you would say, I will pull troops out entirely. We can't do that. We cannot lose the peace in Iraq. Uh, I think the president's judgment was grossly called into question. I think if he wants to do something for veterans, he ought to figure out how to do that. One year's tours neck is a better, isn't it? But the firm is not doing this, OK? This is not, if you report on this, you got to report that it was the addict, okay? He just can't get away. It is not the firm at all, okay? Please, I'm asking you, as a friend. Secondly, based on mutual military strategic interest, Israel is the one country in the region. That yeah, we it'd be interesting today, to see tomorrow, if Dean now, to stand with America, comes back and you ask him something else. I want to take that. You know, one of the things that we could have done yesterday, what I was trying to do is say, if you got state something state you need to say, Say, well, I think it's fair enough that Joe made an attack on me. I want to see what he's got to say. It, Whatever James contributed to the prepping is not evident. There's not enough time. Thank you, Brett. Uh, Governor Dean, let me go to you. Frankly, there's been some concern that because of the racial makeup of Vermont, about 0.5% black, that you will have a difficult time connecting. Uh, and really understanding the concerns of minorities, in particular African Americans. Is this valid? And if so, what are you doing to connect with this community? Well, if the percent of minorities that's in your state has anything to do with how you can connect with African American voters, then Trent Lott would be Martin Luther King. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't hear it, but he just brought in Trent Lott. I thought he was, I didn't think he was going to use it. He was, but a lot. He smiled not once last debate. Hello? Yes. Big time. James is not here, and James may never be here again. Yes. Francisco Dupre. How are you? I wish you the best. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No Child Left Behind is unfunded. Special Education is unfunded. Law Enforcement is unfunded. Fire Protection is unfunded. Native Americans have an even higher unemployment rate than African Americans. Yeah. You know, I think any of these, you know, any of the majors would be, you know. It fell on them. And the only number that they found in the guy's apartment was mine. I mean, why doesn't, you know. Any of these guys talk about that? You know what I mean? How many people do you think are afraid of that? Hey. Hey, yeah. No, I meant um, Mary's watching the debate. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, that's cool. No, no, I'm, I'm tired too. No, I just thought. Um, well, whatever. Yeah, we can, we can see each other tomorrow night or, or whenever. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I have a huge day tomorrow also, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I should go. Okay, bye. I'm on my way. I'm I'm going to meet with him right now. Hello? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. 
I'm Francisco Dupre. Hey, uh, Francisco. James Good to Dillon. see you. Good to see you. Good morning. Good after. Uh, Francisco Dupre. Yes, if you sir. were going to invent a name, you'd invent it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Have a seat Thank such as it is. We're under yeah. construction, as you can see. We're How's your brother? Thank you for asking me. He's um, out of surgery, and he's a very tough guy. Thank you for asking. And how did you know that? That's pretty remarkable, actually. Our prayers are with you. Mr. Bergstrom called me, which is uh, about as uh, a, a frequent event as a you know full solar eclipse or something. And, <laughs> so are you old family friends or? It's a personal connection that goes back, I think, several generations, certainly before I was born. We are looking to expand here. We don't necessarily know in what direction. We do public relations. Some of us do campaigns, but that's not our real work. Uh, crisis management, we lobby the Hill, we strategize. Well, California, as you know, is uh, in chaos, and uh, that's why I've come east. I'm leaving behind me the uh, burning barn, as it were. I've worked on both sides of the bay. Uh, with both the, sides of the bay. Yeah. Uh, both sides of uh, the Brown family, uh, the Willie Brown family and the Jerry Brown family, of course, uh, in Oakland. I am probably what you describe as an equal opportunity uh, ally. I'd like to work in the same tradition as you've been working, both of you. Uh, it's a extraordinary bipartisan achievement uh, that you've accomplished both personally and professionally. You have an American Dictionary here and that's probably the most important book of all. More important perhaps than the Bible. The dictionary is something that gives us definitions right. and this is what the society is missing. We're missing definitions. Right. Now I could open this book and I could say, okay, boom. I owe you right. a promise to pay a debt, especially right. a signed paper right. stating the amount right. owed and often bearing the letters I owe you. I wouldn't be talking to anyone else if I were talking to you, and I am talking to you, so I'm not talking to anyone else. I'd like yeah. a job here, and I would like most of all for you both to join me Monday night at the Ritz Carlton for Branford Marsalis. He is doing music that has been inspired by the work of Romare Bearden. The retrospective, of course, is opening at the National Gallery on Sunday. I would like for you to join me as my special guests at the Ritz for Branford and yeah. meet him afterwards. Thank We're you excited. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Listen, right. prayers, um, prayers for your brother. Thank you. Uh, Thank, Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank we you. really appreciate that. Yeah. The girls will help you out. You'll really excuse Thank us. You, we really All the best. You're trapped in the 50s, okay? Just because it's 50s. he happened after Elvis, he's everything. Is he black? Is he white? Is he straight? Is he gay? Is he west? Is he east? Bob. Bizarre. Strikingly unconventional and far-fetched in style or appearance. Odd. That's, no, he's I, not I, I, odd. I like he's odd. mysterious. <laughs> Let's think mysterious. All right. What's wrong with mysterious? Okay. Maybe he's too good to be true, and you know how that goes.